So I'm going to do this one with my husband. Um, but to answer your question, the three different gates to protect those, and it's probably the hardest generation, honestly, to grow up. It was a lot easier. Um, I'm 32. It was a lot easier in my generation than it is now, and I have a 10-year-old. I have to protect her a lot, um, too. And still, it comes down to you protecting yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you. Um, your eye gates, your ear gates, and your mouth gates. Your eyes, what you put your eyes on, um, what you watch on TV, what you choose to be around and see. Your mouth, what you say, what you speak, um, if you're speaking curse words over yourself, etc. And um, your ear gates, what you listen to, music, and um, what you surround yourself with in that way. Because all of it will become part of your walk in some way or another. Or it can open up doors for the enemy to come and maximize his agenda in your life. Um, so those would be my recommendations and praying, earnestly seeking him. And it's more of a conversation, you know, because the more you know of him and the more you converse with him, um, the less lukewarm you're going to be just because you're connected to him and you're constantly in um, union with the father. Best Maybe. ways are to get into the word, whether you understand what you're reading or not, and then have like-minded people around you mm -hmm. and do a Bible study with like-minded people. Yes. And to go over the test, your testimony, um, to defeat the enemy, the, your testimony and the blood of Jesus. And so I find times when I feel like I'm getting lukewarm, um, if I go over my test, share my testimony with somebody, um, or hear somebody's testimony, it lights the fire, um, in me, it stirs the Holy spirit. And so those are some options. Anything else, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do as much as I can to protect my daughter. Try not to put yourself in situations that will compromise. And you can kind of feel the Holy Spirit um, tugging at you if you're somewhere or um, doing something that he's like, hey, I don't want to be here for.